Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a craft with me. Gonna do some th some things. I, I want to show you what I was playing with yesterday and um, I need to make some more ephemera because I'm having ephemera anxiety having used a lot of it in my last journal. So, but first let's, before we get started, let's say hi and hugs to Luana, Crafty Goodness, Paulette, and Betty Jo. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your nice comments. And we're gonna, we're just gonna get started here. Let's see where to start. Let me show you what I played with yesterday. So, uh, let's see. Artie Mays and Lori Girl on the Ridge and Rachel have all been playing with these little snippet thingamajiggies. And I had I had a bunch of these and I've used them all up. So I got this one from my pal Sarah and Sarah is uh, Soul Creatively Loved on Etsy. And I was like, oh, I just saw a video on that. I want to make some of those. So I have, I have all sorts of scrappiness over here on the side um, from making these. And um, I'll just show you the ones that I I made yesterday afternoon. I did a purple one because I think I have a purple project coming up. That one. And they're just literally scraps of fabric just kind of layered on top of each other. And this one might not be done. I feel like it needs something up there. And that one. And this little guy. I don't know if he goes like that or if he goes like that. <laughs> And then this one for kind of uh, up the side of a page, I'm thinking. So, um, did a few of those. Might do a few more uh, in this session. I don't know. But I think first I would like to do some journal cards because um, now when you see this video, it will have been a couple of days since I listed these coffee dyed marked papers on my um etsy oh my gosh you guys i love these so i just did it i just put them up today but i'm filming ahead as i always do so uh so anyway i thought we'd play with these a little bit today i have every digital i own over here on the side kind of and um i'm just thinking i want to make some some journaling cards and um I don't know, maybe a tag. I don't know, but um, I've got all these, once again, all these pages from from my little book that I glue on. And um, that's something I need to clear up too. I've had a couple questions because I call this my glue book, you know, because I glue on it, glue my pieces and, and on it and then rip it off and then it becomes a base for a journaling card. Not to be confused with the other glue book, which is more like an art journal. Um, let me grab mine real quick. I forgot to do that. Um, but just to clarify, because, because it's confusing to newbies, and I totally get that. So this is my glue book that I just collage on. And this is a place where um, I, I put I put on this page some rice paper that I loved and wanted to keep. Um, did this this little page with some pieces out of I think those were out of um, Stampington magazine, one of the Stampington magazines. See, just little fun things to glue in so this is a glue book too and it's just it's to play in it's to put your glue in i also have spots if i can find one where i keep washi tape and um has this fun little thing that i could do something with anyway this this is a glue book <laughs> which is kind of like an art journalist except you just glue things that you want to keep in there like I have this little this little bag of goodness that I got. Um, it's all yellow stuff. So anyway, there's this glue book, and then there's just this book that I glue on. So I'm sorry for the confusion there. I know that 
that kind of that kind of set a few subbies off onto not knowing what I was talking about. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Let's start to just do a little collaging here. It's always kind of nice to do a little, I think I'll do a couple each way. And I like to do them in groups. I mean, obviously you can do one at a time, but this way I kind of, I don't know. I, it's just a little faster for me. I'm just going to start with this one. Oh my gosh. I'm so crazy about these digitals. And it's so funny. They look so different. Let me show you. I kind of showed you on the quick, on the quick, uh, listing video, but this was the original. <laughs> and then that's how it scanned. So it's like having two completely different pieces of paper, which is, I think, kind of fun. So anyway, quite thrilled, quite thrilled. So I'm just going to get off the white edge here. I just, I'm a mess right now. <laughs> Move over. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, I'm super excited to be playing and having a little time. Um, it always feels good to finish a journal and get on to just doing some play stuff. And the other thing is I've been very busy today with some computer work. I still have Etsy um, physical orders to get out, but I decided to have myself a play because I was also doing computer work um, with my son, who, as you know, does all my website work for me. And um, he's working on some improvements on my website, which I will definitely share with you when those are done. But I told him, no hurry, no hurry. Just do it as you can. I just always worry that he's going to take time from his family to be doing stuff for me, which he does not need to be doing. Okay, so how about we just give this a tear right about, right about there. And then we'll just do a bit on each one. How about, we'll just tear this. Okay. Okay, so then what other, what else do we want to use? I was, I was thinking that I just hadn't played with my, my own digitals for a little while. And I don't even know what I have in here, um, that I've, that I've got printed. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't have an idea in my head to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a single idea in my whole head. <laughs> I just don't have anything sort of preconceived. I'm grabbing this because it kind of looks like there are some pieces that would go kind of nicely with this. I don't know. I might want to do other colors than the yellow though. But yeah, that, I don't know. That might be too much yellow. We'll see if I we'll see what else I end up putting there. Um let's look let's look at this. Um, 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 ooh, ooh, that's pretty. Okay, this is from Journal Centric. I just kind of opened up my, opened up my little, 
thing and I I like that. So we might do that. Maybe we'll do a little oh and then antique papery I have a little piece there. Oh shoot I meant to I got a couple of more labels from um, Deb at Artsology on her um, digitals. I meant to Sure did mean to grab those and sure didn't. So here's one. This is a this is a Deb at Artsology. I don't know if I'll be able to remember everybody to get them down. Where's a piece of paper? Because I always do like to. Okay, journal centric and Artsology. So far besides Gail. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, and this one was this antique papery. I think so. Antique papery. You know what I should do is just make a list of all the people that I have digital stuff and just, <laughs> just plop it down every time, you know. Um, this was what caught my eye. I think I'm going to, where's my, these scissors. It's just ever so much easier sometimes to cut than it, I'll leave those out, than it is to um, do with the tear ruler. Although I think I might tear ruler this part. Yeah, it just kind of feels good to play because um, I worked really hard on that last journal. It's It was the big three signature one. Hopefully, by the time you see this, I will have already listed it maybe. I don't know. I think it's one that I'll announce day and time and all that. So... Um, pretty isn't it it's really pretty um i think i kind of want some music along the side gotta get out my basket my basket of scraps oh good grief <laughs> there's a lot in there okay um where am i gonna put this i'm running out of room all these fabrics i have all over it's kind of like when I'm done with a project, it's like, oh, I get to play. And then I get everything I own out. <laughs> not that making a journal isn't playing. Nope, that's not going to work. Um, it is, but you know what I mean? It's just, okay. So I was looking at this. Kind of nice. I like that. Okay, so this I want to okay so there's that one get my glue book out of there all right um well, let's see what else and we probably we've probably got some good um, scraps as well in in the scrap bin there. I'm going to use these. This is, um, this is on, I printed these on the Epson presentation paper that I have on um, my website. And uh, it's real thick. It's thick. It's really nice paper. But, um, I'm not sure if I could tear the tiny edge, so we'll just do that. And then I think I just I think I just want a piece of this. Let's let's tear it about that about that width, about card width. 
make it about like that. I don't know. It does tear with the tear ruler, but I don't know that a little piece would, you know. I mean, I'll put this back over here. I'm getting two big a pieces in my little piece bucket. <laughs> okay, I didn't quite get that wide enough. Drat. Drat, drat. Oh, well. I'm just going to tear off a piece and we'll just... Might not have to add too much to that. Might just leave that as the background on that one. That's pretty. I like that. Um, kind of was looking at, thought this ticket was cool. It's about the right, it's about the right height, isn't it? Really like this too. Well, that's from Deb. Cool. Let's do this. There we go. Ooh, that's going to be a pretty scrap right there. Maybe next batch we should do <laughs> only from the scrap bin because I should probably do that. That's nice, isn't it? What could go down the middle there? Well, that's just fine, isn't it? All right, and then this one, what do we want to do? Do a little antique papery, why not? This is on just plain copy paper, so super easy to actually I think I'll tear that right down there. Like that. Okay, let's get glue in. Scooch everything over so I can get my glue book in. good it has felt like a busy day um, trying to do laundry help my husband we went to, to Costco which is a bad idea on the weekend <laughs> and um, and then zipped home because my son called while we we're on our way to Costco and spent about an hour on the phone with him doing website stuff and then um, yeah, and then was trying to do, trying to do a few Etsy things and other mailing sort of things so I, that I can go to the post office tomorrow, but I have some more Etsy to do after I play here. So it's kind of been a busy Sunday. You know what I'm feeling like I want to do? This sounds so lame. But I I really feel like I need a day. Um, maybe on the weekend. I don't know if most games are on the weekend. I, I just want to kind of lay on the couch and watch a game. Like, I suppose this time of year it's mostly baseball, right? But... know me I always think that's a good idea but I am so bad at just sitting and doing nothing <laughs> so I'd probably have to have some little project on my lap but that even sounds good doesn't it this is kind of cool because it's got it's got sewing there so that's really neat I love that Deb thank you just cutting off the edges that are didn't get that very good. There we go. Even though, no matter, it's probably going to be sewn because that's just how we do it, isn't it? Okay. 
This makes me really happy though. I was I was real I was happy that so much of my ephemera was able to go in that last journal and you know I had a lot of it pre-made. But now it's like, oh no, I don't have things pre-made. Whatever will I do? <laughs> Just a little kind of weird like that. Got, have a couple of lunches this next week with friends I'm excited about. So that'll be good. And the one is with my, my friend that took over my position at the college where I worked when I retired. She took over. And so it's always fun to have lunch with her. I had to text her because... One of my husband's former students is going to the college and is applying for a job in my old department. So I had to, had to give her a little text and tell her she that she was applying and put in a good word for her, you know. Sweet girl. Um, so she was in my husband's, I mean, at my husband's school and... He kind of befriended her and another little gal, and they have occasionally been kind of house watchers for us when we've traveled and stuff. And so very responsible, nice, nice girl. So I was happy to recommend her. I wish people would have done that when I had the position. <laughs> would have made life a little easier. Oh, sometimes that's the hard thing is, um, you know, hiring, hiring good people can sometimes be, sometimes be tough. I'm just going to call that another journaling card. The never ending supply, but it's a good thing. Okay. So we have all of our backgrounds and I like them. So let's decide what we'd like to put on there. Um, I'm going to get out my fattest ephemera <laughs> folder and we're going to see what we might like. I'm feeling a birdie somewhere, a birdie somewhere. It's not too, too bad. this guy he's cute <laughs> but he doesn't go with that okay um it's this one oh those are cute birdies too that's a hawk i think oh i have more birds on that side let's see what kind of birds i have on this side oh i like this Sorry, my chair is squeaking all of a sudden. I've developed a squeak. <laughs> and the chair is too. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm kind of looking, I'm looking at my little things that I made and thinking, does, do, do any of them go with this? Ooh, ooh. Okay, I kind of like that. And then maybe like a little bitty label or something. Little bitty. My torn pockets here. I need to repair my ephemera thing. I feel like, is that too much? What do you think? I don't know. What is it I don't like about that? There's something. Maybe I don't like that. I don't know. I'm <laughs> just 
Okay, I'm putting the bird aside because maybe he's my problem. Um, kind of like that at an angle right there. Gosh, my, my chair is really squeaking. That is annoying the heck out of me. I hope it's not annoying you as much as it is me. I told you I need a new chair anyway. This one was free from the college that I worked at. and They never gave anything away that was free unless it was way past its lifetime. <laughs> okay, I like that better. Now do I have What if we make a little one with with this? Okay. I have I have lace over here. I have just all manner of everything over here. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm glad you're doing it with me. Oops, sorry. Hit ya. Did I get you to knock? I was trying to reach my... Nope, we're okay. Trying to reach my pile over here, which is a little bit of a stretch. Little bit of yellow do might be nice. Okay, there's no way my sewing machine is coming over, but I can turn it on, and then if I need to sew down something, I can. I think I wanna. I think I wanna sew that, and I might want like a little flower or something on it. But I'm just going to just that quick run a little stitch down it to hold it all together. And then, oh my goodness, guys, I just, I just have too much stuff in my way. Okay. Um, I thought I, yes, I did, but I don't know if it's too big. I got a, some little flowers at Hobby Lobby. You know, they had the antique papery was on sale. But that's too big. I don't like it. It's too big. But I have some others in there. I can get to them. If you hear a large crash, that's just not to worry. It's just all of my stuff going crazy. Okay, so I have this little, this is a little makeup thing that my daughter gave me one year for Mother's Day. And I have itty bitty flowers in it. I think... I might want okay I'm so confused <laughs> okay <laughs> I couldn't figure out which which zipper went with what okay yep I like that I think I'm gonna leave those out those could be really good for this little this little project here Still haven't changed out my fabric tack because do you think I, after I do this video, I need to go get the new bottle and put it on my desk so the next time I do a video, we're good. Okay, I'm just gonna put some fabric tack down the middle of that. And. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeti. <laughs> there we go. Ah, I am having fun, even though, even though I'm so crazy sometimes. Gonna have to have that at the ready, aren't I? Because it just needs to happen. Let's put down the flower and then kind of want it at a little bit of an angle. And the label. This one isn't on label paper. So. Somewhat straight, straightish. Might put a little tab up there at some point, but I have to put plain paper on the back, and um, I don't. I'll probably do that afterwards, just because it's just plain paper. That's all it is. The fun part is decorating the front, isn't it? Yay, I have another journal card almost done. That's happy. Okay, so that's that one. I think it's cute. I like these little things. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's a half an hour and I've already only done one. Okay, let's see what else. What do we want with that one? Maybe a butterfly or something? How many whitish butterflies? That's just kind of nice, just like that, isn't it? Um, maybe a little piece of lace or something. I mean, really. Um, what do we have over here? Like that. Always so hard to tell which side's the right side. Yep, that's I think what it needed. Just something to break up that line. Okay, I like that. I like that. A okay. Get my little white edges off. Well, I am truly delighted with this uh with this coffee dyed paper. It's just super fun. I'd be having it out to use a bit. Oops. Ugh. This one might give it some sort of little top or two. Strings and things from, um, maybe I will, that should be fun. I'll put a little of this right here and then I like it. That's cute. Okay, that one's cute. I like that. Okay, I'm really going shabby-cheeky, aren't I? 
didn't really mean to. Okay, so you need, what do you need? You need like a purple flower or something. Now, these purple flowers are sort of almost already the focal point, aren't they? That's kind of fun on that one. Um, maybe a butterfly and a label. Maybe. Back out the butterflies. Or a label and a mushroom. <laughs> um... Well, I don't have any purple butterflies, but that's kind of nice. Okay, let's see if we can find a label to go on there, too. Okay. I'm thinking I want maybe a brown one, maybe a Tracy Fox label. Just putting Tracy on my list of who to put on this video. Goodness. Um, looking at some of Tracy's newer labels. Kind of like that. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. And next video, whatever it is, I may get back to the journal cover series I have. A couple more that I want to do in that series and but I'll I'll show the the finished um, the finished product here of our little journal card session Oop, that one's a that one's a sticky label. It's always a fun surprise. <laughs> oh, I don't have to glue? Because it's so hard to glue. <laughs> okay. So I need to put that one about right there. I like that one too. Yay. These are making me happy. Okay, and then this one. We're thinking maybe of this, and I'm wondering if we need a little some sort of something right there. I might cut that out too. I think I left it because of um, just so it wouldn't mush, you know, technical term, mush. <laughs> yep, that's going to do it right there. Okay, so let's use, let's use these fun little scissors that, um, they came in Happy Mail, but I've put them on my Gail's Favorite Things because they kind of are. They're just, they're real easy on the hands, but my Cutter B, B ones are great too, it, but these are just terrific if you've got arthritis or any other hand issue. All right, um, what do we think about this? Do you think we can do it? Let's see. Because you know me and white space. It's like people who are uncomfortable with silence. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with white space. 
I'm kind of uncomfortable with silence too, to be honest with you. Can you tell as I blab, blab, blab through every video? <laughs> okay. It's going to be great. Okay. Yeah, those are terrific little scissors. Happy, happy, happy. Okay. So let's. Oh, this poor bird is still hanging out here and I didn't use him on anything. He confounded me. Could you tell? It's like I put him up there and it's like, oh, okay, now what? I kind of liked him against a little bit of the light blue um, collage paper, but. I don't know. Didn't like him enough, I guess. Just getting a little of the white knocked back. Okay. Carefully because those stems are delicate. Delicate. Okay. My husband came down this morning. I was at the computer doing the stuff I needed to do. And he's like, you're not happy, are you? <laughs> and he never would ask me that if I was in my craft room. It's like, yeah, I just, I don't love the part where you have to sit at the computer and do stuff. <laughs> but it's part of the deal. So you just got to do it. But yeah. That's cute. Ooh, that needs glue. All right. Well, let's let's try to put it on a little bit straight, shall we? Novel idea. Okay. Yay! Well, we got four started. So I'll give you the close-up. That one. That one. That one. And this one. Oh, those are fun. Those are fun. So we've got about 20 minutes left. I'm thinking that possibly we could... Um, we could possibly get some backgrounds on four more and then I'd have a bunch to work with. Yeah, Get up there. Going over the top of all my little bits. I got too much going on. I know. Let's make some bits. Let's make, we won't get very far on new journal, um, journaling cards. So let's just, let's make some bits. Um, I kind of liked the idea of having a paper base. Um, and I've got a bunch of, this is my little scraps and stuff. <laughs> There's one. Um, trouble finding how I want to start here, aren't I? Rachel said on her video, she said, this isn't as easy as Lori makes it look. And I agree with her. <laughs> it isn't. It isn't. I kind of like that black showing on that one, that end. So that's nice. Um, I don't know. I might sew this so I won't glue. Uh, anyway, yeah, I thought that was an interesting observation because I, I totally agree. It's like, you'd think it would be easy, but it's not. Lori just puts things together like it's, you know, no big deal though. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just grabbing. 
just grabbing. Don't know what fabric, if any, I have that would go with that. I have this other little thing of fabrics. I have so many bags and everything. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good piece for later. Don't really want, don't really want bunnies. Love them, but don't really want them on this piece. Um... Oh, what's this? This is kind of nice. This is a funky little piece that I think was in another life might have been a collar <laughs> or interfacing or something. Okay, okay. So I'm liking that. I need some thin lace. This is thin lace. I'm gonna get this. This is gonna fall in my water yet. Ooh. Okay, I like that. I'm trying not to think. I'm trying to just do. I think I like that just like that. I'm just going to stitch that on real fast. Yep, and done. That's a cute one. That'll work. I guess I should put my lid on my ooh hoo, huh? Okay. I like like this little piece. Could be nice on there. This is a fun piece of fabric too. Once again, I think I kind of want put that right there. This doesn't have paper behind it, but they don't all have to have. Wondering if that needs a little flower. Those ones that we used on the other one would be a good color, I think. But maybe we want the lighter color, darker color, I don't know. We'll try one of each and just see. Sorry if you can hear my husband clomping around upstairs. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Um, somebody said they thought somebody was walking on their roof when they were watching one of my videos. My husband was clomping along upstairs. Like right above my head is the door to our deck. And so he's bound to walk through there time and again. Oh, so there's one and there's one. Fun. How are we doing time-wise? Oh, good. We got like a We've got 10 minutes. It's exciting. Okay, so let's, let's do some more. Let's do some more. Have this little piece that's so pretty. It's just big enough for that. Mm -hmm -hmm. Would some of this go on there too? Yeah, it would. Like working in threes. Um, Half of this is about ready to fall off the edge here. Not that.
laying this out to dry right here. <laughs> I said to myself, you're going to you're going to dump something in your water. Oh, sure enough. Sure enough that happened. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought I might make it through a whole video without doing something stupid. Nope. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. I want something colorful kind of under there, though. Like, a little piece of something. Like that, maybe? Okay, I'm going to sew this, and then... We're going to decide. I think it needs a flower. <laughs> Come on, go. Light the field of the oh, but it's fixable, really fixable. Okay, so I have paper on the back of this one and it slid when I was sewing it, so I'm just gonna rip the paper so that we can't see it on the edge. Now that's just fine. <laughs> Boy. Purple, pink. Do I not have any blue? I have blue. It's a bigger blue. Kind of a blue. Kind of a black. Oof. No. No, no, no. Is that a blue? Here's a blue down at the bottom. Yeah, that'll be fine in here. Ooh. I think I like the white. No offense, little blue flower. But yeah, I think I have, I have some cute flowers in there. I have to remember that. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Lordy. <clears throat> I also thought I was going to put my Fabri-Tac in, which I never did that, but. Oh, that's supposed to be sticky. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's time for me to shut this off, I think. Oh, goodness. Okay, we did that one. Do we have time for one more or no? Yes, we have time for one more. Okay, I saw this piece right here. And under here, I have some more bitty bits and some fabric and stuff. Okay, um, look, here's a piece of lace. There's another little piece of fabric. Um, yeah, those bitty bits that I just, just can't bring myself to get rid of. How about one of these itty bitty flowers? That, except it needs something under it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, I like it. I think what I'm going to do is sew everything but the flower. I'm just going to 
straight down the middle there. And then we'll glue the little flower on there. That's a cute one. That's just a tiny little guy. But I'm loving using up some scraps. I really am. Oops. <laughs> Seriously, Gail. Come on. Pull it together. Hold it together for five more minutes. <laughs> oh, this is pretty. I just flung that into my bed box. That's cute, though. I like that one. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Maybe we wanted to use a little bit more of this. Oh, that ended up <laughs> not going where I thought it would. Okay, well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This just isn't, this piece isn't tearing where I think it's going to go at all. Oh, it's because it's rounded, I guess, but oh my goodness. Okay, put that there. Let's see, what else do we have? We have this little piece that has a bit of blue in it. Piece of the selvage. I love the selvage edges. I think they're nice. Kind of right like that. I'm just going to sew that and put a pink flower on it. And that's going to be that for that one. Yeah, and all I'm doing is just a straight stitch because I just, I really just want to hold the fabrics together is all. But I'm wondering if one of these, not this bright pink one, but... This lighter pink one right there. Yep. Don't want anything under that. Like a little piece of where'd my oh there it is. I was gonna ask you where my cheesecloth went, but I found it. Okay. Well, I feel like we got some playing in today, and I just thank you so much for being with me while I played, because I was just needing a little decompress, I think. And I'm going to keep making these, and I've got the mess out, so why not, right? But there's one, too. That's a cute one. And I really am loving, like, use. I need... I need this to go down because it's to the point where I can't even see what's in there. So, so yeah, there's another edge, but yeah, so we'll just, we'll work on getting this one, this one down and get some more of those made. And then they'll just, they'll just be available for doing this sort of a thing, which is so fun. So thanks everybody. Thanks for crafting with me and we will just see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye bye.